folks, this is my vlog that I am doing. I'm growing a healthy, shiny, strong black beard. As you can see, I have little gray stubbles coming through because I am a little bit older. But I'm going to show you how to get a nice, healthy beard. Now, the first thing people say when they want to grow a beard, they like, man, my beard itching. It's too much, man. I, I, I can't get no beard. And they shave it off. But they want a beard. But I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing you want to do is you have to understand why you have that itch. The reason why you have that itch for African Americans it is called pseudofolliculitis barbae. Yes? Pseudofolliculitis barbae. That is the medical term, but the layman term is just ingrown hair. See, when our hair grow out and some men outside of African-American as well, they get bumps on their face because their, their hair grow out and it's sharp and it curls back in. And I used to call it doogie bumps until I understood it was really called pseudofolliculitis barbae. So what you want to do if you want to get past that itch, I'm going to show you a little secret that I learned. You can use a toothbrush. Or if you have a buff puff pad, you can order one online or you can go to Walmart, any hair beauty um, supply store, anything like that. But a toothbrush will do the trick as well. What you do is you want to make sure you have a clean toothbrush first, not the one that you brush your teeth with. Get a clean toothbrush. You can get it um, soft, medium, however um, rough your face is. This is a soft one. And what I do is I just rub on the parts that I normally get bumps and what this does is it gets the hair out it also feels good and you stop the itching now generally I get bumps here I get bumps here and I get bumps under here everywhere else I, my hair pretty much grows out you want to make sure you get those ingrown hairs out why? Pseudofolliculitis barbae, ingrown hairs. So this helps you. Don't worry about the grayness. We'll get to how I'm gonna blacken that up later, but right now we just gotta clear these pores up. Now what you wanna do once you get the ingrown hairs moving, next, oh, that feels good. Next after you do that, <clears throat> I have what I picked up from the store, any beauty supply store. They have them for men. Women ain't the only one that need to exfoliate their face. Men can do it as well. They don't have to have smooth face. You can have a smooth face as well. Trust me, your lady will love it. This is called the black mask. Not black face, but black mask. Even though you will have a black face when you put it on. But anyway, it's deep cleansing. You can pick this up from any store, like I said. You get it from Walmart as well. Um, and they have all types of skin, African American, Caucasian, Asian, they all out there. You just go and you pick up your own, you pick up a pack that fits your skin. Now what this does is it pulls those little hairs out and it tightens it up and as you take the mask off, it pulls it out and it clears up that pseudofolliculitis barbae. All you're trying to do is get your hair to grow long enough where you dull the ends and it won't grow back in. So, that's it for now. I'll be back to show you what I look like with the mask on. I'm not going to do it myself. I'm going to have my wife do it. And you can also have someone else put it on your face unless you want to do it yourself. But uh, she's an expert on this kind of stuff, so I'm going to have her do it instead. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, fellas, I'm back. I'm going to talk to you a little bit until this dries up. Now this is my first time using this brand. And I would say if you do get this mask, you might want to get one that have directions on it because this one ain't have directions on it. But I had my wife put it on and I could feel it tightening up my skin right now, which is good. That means it's getting in the pores. When I peel it off, it'll pull all that toxins out. The one I have here, it says, Deep cleansing, suction, peel off mask. It removes blackheads and dirt inside of pores. Uh, dulling surface cells and impurities, while vitamins and plant extract softens the skin. 
to restore a youthful glow. It ain't gonna make me no younger, but I'll have a youthful glow. But that's not what we're shooting for. What we're shooting for today is what? Pseudophilicolitis barbe. What we're trying to do is open up them pores so your hair could come through without itching and you don't get ingrown hairs. Remember, we started off with a simple toothbrush, a soft toothbrush. And you just, you don't want to irritate your skin, but you just want to, you know, brush it. Toothbrush, brush. After you do that, then you put your mask on, you sit and you wait for the mask to dry up. You can tell when the glossiness, as you see now, hardens up. One uh, little tidbit information I would tell all my Caucasian brothers out there, if you do decide to put this mask on like this, don't go outside. Not during this time and age. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh. But anyway, this is to help grow a good beard as well as exfoliate your skin by clearing your pores from dirt and debris. You only have to do this one time because once you pull that out, each day your hair will grow a little bit more. What you want to do each day before you take a shower, after the mask, is you brush your face. While it's still dirty, don't move it around. Just brush all the parts where you get bumps. Cause I used to get bumps underneath here and on the sides where I'm going to my goatee. But once your hair grows through and you dull the ends, you're home free. Then you start grooming. But first you have to lay the foundation, which is the mask. Okay, fellas, it's nice and tight now. Now what you wanna do? See, I could barely move my, my face, but you wanna start rubbing the edges here. Once it dries up, and start peeling it off. And, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's almost like ripping off a band-aid. I can feel my hairs coming out. Oh, that feels good. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh yeah. Now some parts might still be a little wet, but that's pretty much it right there. I could feel, I could feel my face. Ooh, oh, it feels good. I could feel it. Mm, yeah, so I'm gonna go take a shower, wash the rest of the stuff on my face, and I'll be back. I'll be back. All right, fellas, as you can see, took a shower, washed it all off. Face feels good. Uh, feel like my hair came out a little bit more with that. To recap, before we go to the last step of the evening, use a toothbrush. And why are you using a toothbrush? To clear up the pseudophilicolitis barbae. That's right, ingrown hairs. Use a toothbrush, rub it on there, and then you apply the mask. You can use any facial mask, but they do have them for men. Make sure you read the instructions on there. And uh, if you need help, get your wife or significant other to help you out. And occasionally what you might need is to get a little tweezer or needle to pick the ingrown hairs. So every once in a while, I like to get my wife, if I feel a bump coming during the day, um, before the night come, I have to get some tweezers. Just any kind of tweezers, that's good. Right here I had a two, two I have two tweezers right here. One with the sharp point, one with the flat head on there. And uh, lay back, turn the light on, let your wife or significant other go at it. They can go ahead and pick those bumps out. Now, if you're trying to grow a beard, you don't want to snatch the, 
the hairs out. What you want to do, you just want to use that to dislodge them and get them out of the skin. Then, once they pick the bumps, take a shower. <clears throat> After you take a shower, what you want to do, this is what I use. The Shea Miracle Leave-In Conditioner Hair. Has a new look, but it's the same product. What you do is get some leave-in conditioner. Moisture intense formula is what you're looking for. Get this conditioner, and instead of putting it on top of your hair, you just put it on your hairs. You know, light film, you know, just put it in there. Rub it all in there. I'll just show you right quick. Remember, if it's water-based, you gotta use a lot. If it's oil-based, a dab will do ya. So you just get a little dab, rub that in your hands like that, make sure it gets all your hand like that, and just rub it. Now something I just came up with that I realized Growing up, I used to always put lotion on coming down and I would pull my skin hair. But as you can see, I done pulled it out of white. The older you get, your skin starts sagging. So you want to push it up. Keep that youthful, youthful chin. Once the hair grow in, you ain't got to worry about it because you can shake the beard to have any kind of chin you want. But for now, you just want to put that conditioner all in there. Smells good. Your wife will enjoy it, a significant other, spouse. And now you're ready for the night. So each day you do that, your beard will start growing in nicely. So we'll let this go for a few days. And I'll come back with what we're going to do next with the beard. Thank you for watching. I'm out.